first of all send the tool back to the grid position. Get your cycle start and that will take your tool back. Then we want to go to the correct tool for parting off, which in my case is tool number one. And then we're going to select cut off. And now when I hit cycle start, tool down, our potentiometer's wound down, press that, now it's ready to move. You can see the tool start to come in, hold it there, and then if we look on here, you can actually find your position data, if you look through, hang on, it's got to be there somewhere, yeah, position data there you can now see your distance to go so you don't need to so you don't need to worry about that hitting so you can see now i've got three mil to go just count that down and that's ready now when i press i can take that screen off now that uh, position data screen there and then uh, it's waiting for me again so i press my cycle start this is wound down We'll need to add coolant and she's ready then to part on. And that will use the that will use whatever feeds and speeds you put in there. And then when it gets to the centre, it just stops. What we need to do now is um, open up the collet. I'm going to open up the collet, make sure that your bar feeder is in the automatic mode because that will push the bar into there. And what I'm going to run then, still in this prepper mode, we're going to go to um, we're going to go to start position. Now what start position will do is providing that collet's open move that collet back let's just turn this coolant off move that collet back to where to its correct position as it's pushing the bar so I'll just hit cycle start on that you'll see it go back there what we're going to do then is going to remember to clamp up the spindle again and at that point you're ready to go you're ready to start machining